All right, let's convert some stuff to flow. Convert to flow is a flow itself. You can open it up and look at all the pieces. Uh, but you don't have to. You can also just run it. So when we run it, it basically doesn't have to, it doesn't have much to ask. It starts out by asking whether you want to convert something from process builder or something from workflow rules. Let's start with a simple process. This is about as simple as a process gets. It triggers on an account on a creator edit, and then if the rating of that account is equal to hot, it posts a message to Chatter. So. So, let's go and convert that. Find it here. Click Next. And it works in two parts. The first part is the retrieval of the original uh, metadata. And there are no errors, so we're in good shape here. So we're going to continue on and now we create the new flow. And so, flow has been deployed, so let's go look for it. Here it is, and we can open it up, and you can see that it's the same account created post to chatter action. So the uh, now a couple things to remember here: we have not touched this process; it is still active. It will still trigger on account creation. So. When you take and activate this, you're basically going to trigger twice unless you go and deactivate this. So be very careful about that because there's nothing that can, is, creates more confusion than when you have two different processes trying to do the same thing at the same time to the same object. Um, so uh, make sure that you turn one off before you turn the other on and vice versa. Uh, and if we look in here, you can see, I uh, didn't, didn't mean to do that, uh, you can see that all of the fields have been filled out. Uh, and if we look in this decision element, there's rating equals hot. So great. Let's look at a little more complicated of an example. Okay, so here we've got a row of some initial stuff that just gets executed. Uh, it has a schedule action here. Three days after the create date, there's a post to chatter. And then uh, it will go on and execute this decision too. Uh, and four days after last modified date, there will be a submit for approval. So you can see a whole bunch of stuff going here. This doesn't particularly make sense. I more or less just chose it at random. Let me add a... Uh, Add a uh, action here just for the just for the heck of it. Let's add a create record here, and let's create an account named Fubar, just so we have an immediate action here. So we've got scheduled actions. We've got one immediate action. This is demo process story 2.3. Let's go and convert that. So far, so good. Okay, let's go find it. Refresh. We should see story 2.3 here. There it is. Let's take a look. All right, and as you can see here, we've got that same account uh, created, and then we've got uh, one run immediate. We've got two scheduled paths see that the post chatter is on schedule path one and there's the three days after create date. So that's looking pretty good too. Now there is a, a limiter to 
in the ability of Convert to Flow to Convert. It can't support, Flow Builder right now can't support more than one set of scheduled actions per row in Process Builder. Uh, and uh, so if you have more than one set of scheduled actions, you're just going to get told you can't convert that.